Well, to the, to the Democratic Republic of Congo now, where one protester has been killed and two others injured in protest demanding that President Joseph Kabila step down. The marches have been led by the church against Kabila's rule and took place following Sunday service. Three priests have also been arrested. Kabila has accused the church of interfering in Congolese politics. Well, for more on this, we can speak to Naka Lagoke. He's a professor of African history at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania in the United States. Uh, uh, professor Lagoke, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, how have we come to this point uh, in, in DRC, that the church uh, are leading a resistance movement against the president? Yeah, I think that uh, it is because um, uh, most of the representatives of, of the society uh, is... Uh, uh, it, it finding it like uh, facing some difficulties uh, in order to engage the struggle, you know, for freedom and justice. And uh, I believe that uh, the church is doing the right thing. And then, uh, uh, you know, we know in the world that there were uh, church people, uh, priests and pastors in the United States of America. Uh, we can give the example of Dr. King. And then who and many other pastors and who led the struggle for justice during the civil rights movement. So the church is doing the right thing, and uh, because uh, other leaders, you know, uh, lack inspiration and to find the best way in order to engage a, a Kabila. Uh, um, Professor, like, okay, what does this tell us about uh, the lack thereof of any effective opposition in, in DRC, and also about the potential motives now with uh, President Kabila uh, when faced by this resistance to still be clinging to power? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, of course, you know, we know Kabila is clinging to power, and, uh, uh, but I know that today the opposition in Congo, uh, you know, since the death of Chisekedi, uh, they, have, they have some problems in order to mobilize, engage, because they have their personal differences, and many of the leaders are fighting for power. And then also, they do not have the possibility and the capability, you know, to mobilize uh, the way Chisekedi did. Uh, but uh, it shows also that uh, various sectors of the society are now paying more attention to the reality in Congo. And uh, Kabila, of course, wants to cling to power. And I believe that uh, we have to go a little bit beyond Kabila. And it's not just about Kabila. It is also about the responsibility of the West. Uh, that supported uh, so, uh, some anti-nationalists in Congo and in the context of the Cold War and to assassinate uh, the very leader who had at heart the interests of the Congo, and his name is Patrice Lumumba. And then since that time, Congo has been in the hands of uh, various multinationals and some neo-colonial, neo-colonialist, uh, uh, local or international, and this is what we're seeing today. So it does have a long legacy, uh, Professor. Like, okay, now... Uh, the church's demands, uh, apart from uh, Kabila stepping down, where do you see this going next? Uh, say the church do uh, get their way and Kabila steps down, uh, will they put up a candidate? Will the opposition step up? Who would then lead the country? Yeah, uh, what I would suggest, though, uh, we, we experienced that a little bit in, in, uh, in Africa in the early 90s and then uh, even in Congo. Uh, uh, under the auspices of a series of uh, national conferences. And I believe that uh, this is what people should be doing in Congo. Uh, uh, in South Africa, it was Convention for Democratic South Africa, CODESA, CODESA 1, CODESA 2. And then uh, people have to come together, various sectors of the society, they have to come together and agree on a new consensus, and, and they have to set up new rules and make sure that, uh, you know, uh, no one comes uh, later on to come and change, you know, the rules of the game the way Kabila is doing. So I do not think that the church is particularly seeking uh, power, but the church is, wants to play its role as the, you know, the moral authority, you know, for, for justice and freedom in the society. Absolutely. Okay, uh, Professor, Professor uh, Nake Lagoke from the uh, University of Lincoln uh, in uh, Pennsylvania, thanks for joining us.